somebody that may become somebody by the refashioning just like his new esteemed body according to his own operation his own circumcision by the work which he is able by which he is able to subdue all things under his control you know how he's going to take over the world not by might not by power but by my rule says Yahweh how is he going to take over the world he will destroy Adam's flesh or clothe it with new flesh by the operation of Yahweh the same operation that raised Yeshua from the dead Zechariah 4, 6, not by might or power, but by my ruach. Yeah. How is this, this lamb going to take over the world? He will destroy the flesh of the unbelievers. Those who hate me hate my father also. And don't you ever forget it, Islam. Don't you ever forget it, Judaism. Don't you ever forget it, some young Reverend Munhan Lunghai Munis. <laughs> he that hates me hates my father also. He will change our poor, lowly body. Yes. That it may be refashioned like his new esteemed body, the firstborn to receive that body, the body of Yahweh, the flesh, the blood, and the spirit of Yahweh. How? By the working, by the operation that he will give to us, the same operation that raised our brother Yeshua from the dead. He will, he will raise us up from the dead and give us a new body. But more than that, it is the operation by which he will subdue all the universes. Not just the world, but all the universes. You will either put on the circumcision of Yeshua, the circumcision not made with hands, and then the circumcision of Jacob made with hands, so that you are part of Israel corporately and a saved child of Yahweh individually, or Yahweh will subdue you by allowing you to die with the flesh of Adam on your skin, unremoved, somebody. That's the grace of Yahweh. He invites you to the circumcision made without hands. Corinthia bet. Is anyone enjoying? Amen. I said, is anyone enjoying? Amen. Other than our brother Mordechai. There's a few scattered around there. Corinthia bet. Five. One. Now we know that if our earthly bite of this tent were destroyed, it doesn't matter. We still have a building of Eloha, a bayit not made with hands. Thank you, Father. A house, a body, not made with hands. Eternal in the Shamayim. Verse 2. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed with our, our body, our bayit, from the Shamayim. So that then, unlike now, we shall not be found naked. Why do we get into mikvah, baptism? So we're not found naked in our earthly sojourn, declaring that Yahweh will give us a body like Yeshua, but in the meantime, we take refuge in Him. In the meantime, we take refuge in His body. Amen. Don't tell me baptism is not important. And coming from a Jewish background, this is one of the most difficult things that I have to deal with. I have Jewish believers that have been saved for 40 years. I know one guy named, I won't say his name. I'm a nice guy. The Holy Ghost stopped me. <laughs> Whenever this dude would pray, Hashem, 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 Hashem. In Yeshua's name, right? Amen. In Yeshua's name, right? Amen. No, he didn't. And because coming from you, and have you, brother. <laughs> have you been baptized? No, I'm not converting to Christianity. See? See? To the Jewish person, when you ask them to be baptized, you're inviting them to convert to Christianity. No thank you. Because the, the devil is stealing the future from them. It's a declaration of the body Yahweh will prepare for you so that you would inherit the worlds without end. Yahweh gave Yeshua a body to come as our Savior in this world, but he's going to give you a new body to inherit not just this world, but the worlds, plural, and all the universes without end. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 
if Yeshua had a human nature or a human flesh, how could he ask us to wear his flesh? What's the sense in putting on one set of human flesh from Bethlehem for another set of human flesh from the way are? Oh, thanks. That's all I need. God, gold, good, toad, road, whatever his name is. Those false pagan titles. That's all I need is another coating of humanity, of Adam. I got enough problems with the first coat. Well, brother, don't you know he was 100% Deus and 100% como hombre. So you're telling me that if I put on Yeshua in baptism, then I'm putting on 100% of Yahweh's flesh and 100% of Yeshua, man's flesh. So now I got a double problem, double jeopardy. I got my flesh that's from the sin, from the dust, and now I got Yeshua's flesh that's from the dust. Instead of the truth being, his flesh has no dust. It is right from the Father, body, soul, spirit, and blood. Now I can put it on. It's kosher. It's made without human hands. Do I receive Yeshua's body when I'm baptized? No. But, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Those who come to Yahweh must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That's right. That's right. For we walk by faith and not by sight. If Yeshua had a human nature or a human flesh, he could not enter the kingdom. Listen, now don't, don't lose me here. Don't lose me here, please. If Yeshua had 1% human nature or human flesh, he couldn't enter the kingdom. We just read in 1 Corinthians 15, 50, flesh cannot enter the kingdom. If our Savior couldn't enter the kingdom, brothers and sisters, where would that leave us? Are you getting this? Yeshua said, I go to prepare a place for you so that where I am, you may be. But if he couldn't go there because he had a human part of his flesh, where does that leave us? On the outside, looking in. You see how hideous this dual nature Messiah doctrine is? You see how hideous this is, brother? This is crazy stuff. Because that means Yeshua couldn't enter himself. No, friends, his flesh was from Yahweh. And it allowed him to enter the kingdom and will allow us to enter the kingdom. This is the apex for, apex for every believer in Yeshua who is brought to a saving knowledge of Yeshua. Now go to Ephesians 3, 9, and then we're going to go quickly now. FC, I'm um, going back and forth. Does anyone enjoy? Amen. Amen. Other than Daryl, does anyone enjoy? Amen. Thank you, Bill Trump. If Sia, if Sia, three nine, if Sia, three nine. Now, what on earth is Rob Schultz talking about here? I'm going to go quickly, but I need your spirit intertwined with mine. I need you to breathe with me. I need you to drink with me. I need you to, to walk with me now. I want to be one. I want to walk the Emmaus Road with you, brother. Now walk, take my hand right now, and I walk of the Emmaus Road. Now listen. Ephesians 3.9. I'll show you a mystery if you walk the Emmaus Road. <laughs> That Yahweh would want that all his desire, his heart, is that all men would see the purpose of the administration of this mystery. What mystery? From the beginning of the Olam has been hidden in Yahweh, who created all things by Yeshua HaMoshiach. Whoa! What mystery? The mystery that Yeshua came with his own flesh, and that he is Yahweh to the glory of Abba the Father, mm -hmm. that is, that all men would see that the, that the mystery is administered properly. The minister of Yeshua 
who was hidden in Yahweh, but now manifest in these last days with Yahweh's body.